Hi guys, it's Fiona. I just wanted to do a flip through of the finished um, fairy and butterfly journal that we've been making um, in a sort of a tutorial craft along with me series. So it's a hardcover journal and it's got a hidden spine. So I just wanted to show you how I finished this off. And um, it turned out quite chunky actually. So I've just tied it closed with this um, piece of ribbon here. Um, and so on the spine, I've got the lace and lace on the, the back side as well as the fabric. And then I've put this little fairy here. And she was a die cut, wooden die cut, and I've just done some stamping and then I've added some glossy accents to make her a little bit shiny, glued her on there. And then on the front I've got the, um, sorry I'll just get this undone. On the front I've got this, um, the angel image that I found in a book of angels and fairies that I had. And then some of my cut out butterflies, some lace, a little um, decorated um, ticket. I think these tickets are freebies actually in my Facebook group. Um, and then another butterfly and then down here I've got a metal plate with the word believe and just some more pieces of lace down the bottom here. So in the front cover I've made this pocket out of a coffee dyed envelope, put a butterfly and the word garden and that's one of the purple tags. They're also a freebie in my Facebook group which I will link below. And then I've made this tall tag out of one of the other fairy images in a book that I had. And at the back here it says, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. It goes in there. And then we've got a small page here where I glued down that fairy out of an old children's fairy book. And then I've just put... Um, one of these little paper bags here, these cute little paper bags that you get in a craft shop and I've put one of the fairy um, cards, uh, ATC cards on there that are in my fairies and botanicals kit. But I think I've, I've told you about where these things come from when I was making the journal so I I won't mention all the way through where they come from because um, I'll just put the link below to the kit. A couple of little butterfly tags. Some scrapbook paper. And in here I've put one of the side pockets that we made out of the book pages. Some more. Fairy images and butterflies, purple flowers. And we've got a doily, this um, coffee dyed paper here. I think this one, it's um, actually coffee dyed ledger paper that I did. And I think it was at the bottom of my pan. So I've got this beautiful rich coffee colour on there. Um, and these um, pockets here where I added the envelopes, I've just sealed them closed and then cut the end off. So I turned it into a pocket. Um, I've put this little fairy image on here. Little fairy with a, she's got a cat, she's holding a cat. And some of them I've put something in and some of them I haven't. It's just another little um Little envelope. This was one of my freebies also in my Facebook group. I think I did a video making those. And then another one of the beautiful butterfly tag. Um, the little book page pocket. And I've just put some of the smaller ephemera like 
those two and then some little fairy um, uh, tickets. And that closes up like that. Some lace here. Um, the other side of that envelope. I think I've just added another. Oh, this is another little envelope that we made uh, in a video that I did. If I can remember where that video is. These were the collaged envelopes. So collaged inside, and then we used a um, um, a template that I had as a freebie to cut them out and make them. It's just got a little piece of paper in there. And this is some of my sort of tea dyed lace backing paper, which is a printable. Then we've got one of these pockets that I made out of book pages. And I've just put one of the fairy um, journal cards. I've backed it with coffee dyed cardstock you can write on the back. And same with this one. And they're both stitched around. And then I've made these tall tags out of some old manila envelopes. Uh, manila folder that I had I just stamped on the butterfly and this says dream a little dream and there's one of the cards from fairies and botanicals kit and then I've glued on this fairy image out of a book that I had Another one of these pockets, some more little cards, and that says herbs. And then I will put on one of the little labels, the floral labels, which are freebies. There is one sheet of them which are free in my Facebook group, or you can buy them in my shop. There's a couple of sheets there. Stop, smile, breathe, life is beautiful. Coffee dyed paper, scrapbook paper, another side tuck, another bingo card with a fairy, that one, and the peacock one. And this um, journal will actually be available in my Etsy shop soon either tonight or tomorrow and this is a lunch bag where I've cut the end off and then I've inserted this beautiful picture out of a children's fairy book just folds out like that Um, a couple of more of these envelopes in the center. I don't think there's anything in those ones. Nope. That's the other side of the paper bag and I've put in um, a recipe for fairy cakes. And then we've got another of the small pockets couple of small pieces of ephemera and tickets and a little lavender card there tag some more papers another one of the pockets Another tall tag. Another small pocket. And here I made some paper ruffles out of some of the leftover papers, strips of paper, just 
um, folded them sort of concertina style um, just like a lace ruffle or a ribbon ruffle and glued them down and some more little pieces another oh, that's a gnome on that one butterflies and a little purple bird this is out of the purple grunge butterflies kit ephemera kit and another envelope where you can just put whatever you like inside and they're blank so you can write on them another side pocket two more journaling cards Another doily. And then I've got another little pocket with some more little pieces. And then and there's that one. And then I've got another pocket inside that pocket. With some more little fairies there. Whoops, I have to glue that down. That's come apart on that side. Might just leave that out so I remember to do that. There, another tall pocket. And we've got some leftover little bits of the fairy ephemera. And I think I said in the other video that my printer was running out of ink when I first printed them. So a couple of them didn't print properly. Well, this one didn't. So, But I've just put that in there in case um, you still want it. And then there's another little envelope. Um, and I haven't put anything in that one yet. Another tall tag. And I've also stenciled on these tags, it's like a kind of a floral um, stencil. And then this little flip here um, is from an old card that I had. I thought it was a nice colour to put in the journal. And then I've got an image from the fairy book as well and it's got um, it's all little um, Pixies and fairies there. Doily, another pocket, double pocket, nothing in those. Another side pocket, some nice, some more nice ephemera. Don't think I really needed all these pockets after all because it's made it really, really bulky, but. And then I've just glued that on there. Um, then I've got this pocket here. With those beautiful dragonfly and butterfly tags. And then this is the last page, almost. This is another image from the fairy book that I've got. Beautiful. And it says, hand in hand with fairy grace will we sing and bless this place. And that's from William Shakespeare, A Midsummer Night's Dream. So now we're on to the back cover and that's the fabric that's wrapping around from here. We've got a little pocket. And then I've got a little dragonfly and another butterfly in there. And that's another part of that little beautiful painting with the little pixies. And then I've just put the word fairy dust here. And that is the journal. So as I said, I'll be listing this in my Etsy shop very soon. And um, I'll put the links to all the things that I used below. 
Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.